Welcome back to MVM Wednesday. You would think that maybe we had enough live streaming after we literally live streamed an entire marathon of games this weekend. That was intense. It was. You had a great experience playing one game in particular over the weekend. I did. I'm not going to tell anyone what game it is, though. I want them to go back and rewatch. Well, there's one I'm going to replay because yeah? we played it wrong. Oh, that's so right. So we'll be, I'm going to live, we're yeah. probably going to end up live streaming that at some point this week since it's Essen Week and it's an Essen release It is Essen Week. And I, I think this is a good good time to say that no one really knows how hard it is when you're doing a live stream if you're on the spot and you realize that maybe you don't know a rule correctly you just kind of have to go with it because mm -hmm. you can't really stop the live stream and like go on bgg and do a bunch of research well it's so. not even that like it, you you're prepared you go in mm -hmm. and then you find out after the fact you played the game wrong but today we're not going to play this that's game okay wrong. well no of course not those games we were kind of doing on the fly right. that was the whole point on the fly, it was uh, a B game. yeah it was a b game look at that it's today, very pretty, but today... today it, we're playing a not Essen game, actually. But we are going to do one tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow we are going to do one. So we're, so we're doing actually... a two-day live stream. So today That's is right. our normal Wednesday, and then we're going to do a Thursday special where we're going to be playing Holy, Holy. from That's Floodgate correct. Games, which I'm not even sure how we're going to set up the camera for that one yet because it's, it's a be really cool, cool game. And, and actually, we're doing two other live streams yeah. for Essen. I'm doing a Codenames live stream Saturday night, so tune in for more information. And we're doing a live stream of the Power Rangers deck building game on Sunday. So lots of Essen goodness oh, this Oh, and week. Friday, you, and then Saturday, Jeremy Howard, are going to be live streaming with Paul Grogan. That's right. Playing Agamonia. Agamonia. So from lots a lot of, of it. Just stay tuned to the Discord, our so Facebook. So much stuff. There's a lot of live streaming happening because this is Essen week. Lots of us should be in Germany right now celebrating, but we're not. We're here in the United States because of quarantine. So anyway, we're going to... Um, just do a normal game today. This is uh, called uh, Hoop Gods. This is on Kickstarter, so this is actually a prototype you're seeing, but we uh, were big fans of the previous game, which is called Rap Gods. So I know a lot of you have probably heard of Rap Gods. This is, I don't want to necessarily call it a sequel. No. More like a spiritual successor, successor. to Rap Gods. This takes, it. Yeah, this takes that element of, of three on three basketball and kind of brings it into like a cool uh, little board game. I mean, You'll, you'll see what I mean as soon as we see the game. And I'm pinning the links in the comments, but if you're watching this later and you're not watching the live comments, it's also in the description below if you want to check out the Kickstarter to see what all is happening with this game. What we have here is a prototype yep. copy, so know that this is not final at all. You'll want to check out the Kickstarter to see what's coming up next. But before we get into all of that fun stuff, we want to say one, thank you so much to our sponsor, Game Toppers, yep. for providing us with this amazing table with our brand new awesome a uh, mat yeah, that looks like, like real wood and it's beautiful. It's not real wood. It's not. Uh, and also to Board Game Brothers who are the, uh, this is their game and they mm -hmm. are giving a copy away today as part of the stream. Yeah, and we gave away games uh, last week as well. We played Project L and that goes to Alicia Laura. Congratulations. Congratulations, Alicia. Please email us at meeple at gmail.com to get your copy. And of course, um, of course, this is a Kickstarter, so we will do a giveaway. I, I don't know exactly when it will arrive to you, but you will basically be entered in with that as yes. if you had backed the Kickstarter. Yeah, so. exactly. So, so let's talk about Hoop Gods. Yeah, let's, let's jump in because I kind of want to give you guys a little, just a brief overview of kind of how this game is set up. And we're so, going to move some things around here in a second. So fun fact. Yeah. I played three-on-three -three basketball when I was younger. I didn't know competitively that. Competitively with my sisters who were real basketball players. I was, I, I didn't stick with it cause I never got any taller. Really, they were just way better than me and they I, did it for a long time. But for many, many summers we played Joe Hoops for anyone who knows what Joe Hoops is. Um, and so I was really excited to play this because, well, you know, I enjoyed three on three basketball once upon a time. So yeah, I Ryan- I just learned that for the first time. You could have been a character in this, I, your whole team, maybe. MVM promos for next year. <laughs> three on three team. All right, let's yeah, check it out. So three on three basketball, it's very popular. In fact, uh, it was going to be an Olympic sport. I found out this year, if there had been an Olympics. Yeah, Jeremy mentioned that in his preview. So mm -hmm. if you guys want to just a general overview of the game, please go check out Jeremy's preview on the channel uh, to see more about the game. But today we're just going to do gameplay. Yeah, and we're going to be manipulating this ball, moving around this court, trying to score baskets. That's basically how basketball works. What? So I, so I think this game actually does a pretty good job of simulating the rules of basketball. Um, but before we jump into the game, we're actually going to 
draft from a row of different of ballers. Can I, I? I guess call them ballers. They are ballers. We are going to each draft shot t- callers, even shot callers. That's right. So you know all the terms. I'm like the worst per I like, I, you know, I grew up in the 90s. It's not, a good t- it's not the right term for it. I grew up in the 90s outside of Chicago. So there was no way to grow up and not be a basketball fan as far as like loving the Chicago Bulls. I mean, that was when they were on fire. But I haven't really followed Except basketball. Except that we have the, the past, Pacers like, here. We and do. Reggie Miller, not to mention the home of the one, the only, the great, what's his face? But I will always be a Bulls fan in my, in my Oh, heart. yeah. That's just Oh, yeah, totally. So anyway, we're going to um, draft these and I will draft first so it's a kind of a snake draft I'm going to choose one Kira's going to choose two and then back to me to choose two so it kind of bounces around now each one of these um, ballers is a different size you have small medium and large and this affects how much energy they have to spend or juice they have to spend to do special abilities during the game and of course they all have an ability that's unique to them as well so I want to start with uh, this guy what is this Rob Stevenson, Sir Pass a Lot. Why don't you go ahead and just show what a card looks like? We don't need to show every card. Oh, oh no. No, no, it's out of focus. I can fix it. it. Focus that camera. Oh, oh baby, it's, it's into getting focus. There. Maybe. There it is. Yeah. All right. We just have to wait for it to zoom out a second. I don't know why it zooms into focus. I actually hate that that happens. All right. There. So you'll see a Huzzah. few things. Um, that box that shows the three different sizes, whichever size is white, is the size that he is so he is a medium player you have the name and then you have the ability so that's my first guy i'm going to take the standee clip it onto my base so he's going to be a red player and i'm just going to put him out on the court for now this is not final position i'm just getting him out of the way so kira you get to choose two taking these two right here oh the here. dunker i like the dunker when i played with her the other day um, yeah this will all make sense as we get into the game but uh she has a special ability but i gotta use a lot more juice yeah to get this one off typically then i also am getting uh, logan who is my smaller player so that was my big player this is my smaller player not that you have to go specifically yeah to small big or medium you can go all large if you want to have that strategy but I like her because she allows me to do some fun stuff uh, after an, a, a successful steal, which is yeah. good. So you go back and pick your So now I pick next. my two. So you've got a couple. Oof. Do I need somebody big to, to go up against your big player? Or am I going to let you? Don't know. I'm gonna, what I'm are gonna you going to do? Who is this? What's this character's name? Shane Abraham. The Pain. I like it. The Pain. The Pain. To the Pain. Uh, okay, so somebody's big, asking about NBA baller, jams so. in the um, huh. in the comments. I think it's Gator Dave. I grew up in NBA jams. But I'll tell you what's better. What? NBA Street. Yeah, I mean, NBA Street was a lot of fun. It was an amazingly and fun game. Did, like, the NFL. With a good soundtrack. All right, then I get one more. No. Yeah, I, you do too. I do too. And then you do Oh, one. that's right. So I think I'm going to do uh, Wendy Burner, Wheels. I like... Uh, wheels. Yeah. Wheels is pretty get quick. Some wheels. Um... And I like that extra little boost of speed. So here we go. All right. I like her hair. I like her hair too. Or their hair, I I guess. She? Uh, I am not 100% sure. My bad. I should have been sure. All right. So let's see. I'm just going to go for the there. I'm going to go with, I want to spread out. So I've got a small, I've got a tall. I'm going to go with my next one, which is a medium player. This is Henry we Webb. Can lay the, they're asking us if we can lay the characters down. We can't. We just need to remember who is who. So as long as we can remember um, which character is which, which we should be able to. We could do like this. <gasps> Look at that. I don't know if some it'll work for will all of no, them. some of them will, but not all of them. <laughs> if I lay them down, I guess I could just put the stands on the bottom and lay them down. That's a good comment. This is why we do this live, because... Now you guys can kind of see what we're doing. So wherever the base is, is yes. the spot they're in, okay? Correct. There, this is probably easier. But we haven't set up final spots yet, so we can put our guys wherever we want. So sure. that's it. We're done drafting, mm-hmm. right? So these three are not even going to be in our game, so goodbye to you all. And let's then now slide the board down so we can get a little bit better of a view. Now the only other components that we'll need to know are these stopwatches over here. These are going to be the timer of the game. Every time we rest, which you'll see what that is, we're going to use up one of those timers. And then we have goat cards. And these are 
kind of super powerful one-time use cards. We have a hand of eight cards that's identical, and the kind of the crux of the game is knowing when to play these cards and benefit from them. So whoever picked first, which was me, I'm gonna position my ballers on this side of the board. I have to put one person next to the ball for the tip off. I'm gonna put one up here and one here. Now you can position your people wherever you want in response to that. I have done that. Oh, you already, so you did yours first. Okay. Well. Technically you can wait and see because you might not like how I set mine up and you can. I know what I wanna do. Oh, you already know. So there are a couple things to know about this game. Um, mm -hmm. First things first is we have a, our own set of cards. These are one-time use on our turn, but they will all come back into our hand at the end of our turn. We have both um, active cards and defensive cards. So yeah. uh, let me show you what that looks like really quick. So there's a couple different versions. What are you laughing Brian at? Brian says he feels the pain of the three ballers that didn't get picked to be on a team. Mm -hmm. I feel that too. So, <laughs> Uh, you can't see the outline of these. It's, it's seeing green. through because it's green, but know that that means that those are active cards. So Ryan's got one kind of you can kind of see how green it is up here, and he could probably put it in front of his face too. So you'll notice that this one has a whistle. This yep. one has a ball and a whistle. The whistle means active player. Mm -hmm. The ball means uh, you ball have carrier. to have the ball. Yep. Okay. Uh, then if it doesn't have that at all, which you will not see on the active cards, such as here on the defensive cards, like a block. None of that matters anymore. Yeah. All right. So we have four defensive cards. We have four active cards. Yep. And the, am I saying the right word for that active card? Yeah. I, yeah. Active player cards. Active player cards and reaction cards technically, yeah. but yeah, um, I, defense works well. Now, yeah, the key of the game is playing these cards and when to play these cards and when to spend your juice. And you'll see how this all works together because we're going to be talking about it as we play. Now we do start with six dice. Generally, you're only gonna get three of those dice for any given roll, unless you decide to boost a die roll by spending a juice. And you can spend it, you'll see up here on, uh, well, you'll see in a second, on my player board, that you have a row of, of circles where you can place your juice as you spend it. Juice is not gonna come back to you right away. So if I spend in the yellow, it comes to the yellow, it's gonna be a whole turn before it comes back to me. And the red is gonna be two. So actually, you you know you don't want to just fill up your board because you're kind of locking yourself out and you'll see because we're definitely going to be taking some rest actions and things like that and so, i'm showing this but know that this two right here is actually, actually a, a one, one. It a uh, it's a misprint but we okay. know that so we won't do any cheating today no no cheating today all right move four if you rest move one if you score Hopefully, we start with six juice we do um except i go first so i actually lose one of those and i start with one less Okay, I'm ready. All right. Let's Actually, do no, this. I don't go first. No, we rebound. We, we rebound first. first. Yep, so each one of us goes. is going to put down our rebound so card. That looks like this. And you'll see the three symbols. That is the symbols we have to roll on the dice. Now, you can do this two different ways. You can do it just who can roll the fastest, which kind of brings in that speed element, or you can just roll at the same time and, and give each other both a chance to make the the goal. So we'll probably do it that way because I don't want it's probably a little chaotic to just be rolling the we dice. We want like everybody crazy. to see what's going on. Yeah. So. so. Basically, here, let's play all of our cards right here in the center because there's you know, like right here next to each other. So I just need a place to roll is all I'm working on here. That's fine. All right. Wait, is this one of my juices? It is one of my all ju right. juices. All right. So let's roll. You ready? Yeah. If you roll here and I roll here, they'll be able to see it just fine. Okay. All right. I got my foot and my ball. Oh, I need a foot. Oh, we're doing just as fast as we can? I mean, why not? Ah, That's how the game's ah, supposed to work. Ah, got it. Dang. All right. He so gets the tip off. I get the tip off. So that means I take the ball into my possession of the person closest to me. And I get to be the active player. Now. Or he gets to be the active player. I have the tiebreaker, right? Right. Now these rebound cards are going to stay out until the end of the turn. So we don't get these back until. I put I'm mine done. face down so I don't that, accidentally that pick it up. We can do that. That's a good can way to do it. Can you put that tiebreaker card? But yes. So I become the active player. So I will take the active player token and Kira becomes the tiebreaker. And she will hold on to that tiebreaker until. It, there's a tie and then I will get the tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. Whereas the active player is going to pass back and forth every time. Based one of on whose passes. turn it is. Mm. Not passes. I got into trouble with this the other day. Mm -hmm. Passing in basketball is actually a thing. Normally you think I'm going to pass means I'm passing my turn. No, it means passing the ball here. So there are three basic actions we can take. Move, pass, pass, and boost. If you pass, it has to be the first action 
you do. And you can only pass once on your turn. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to pass the ball. And when you pass, you have to just make sure that there's not an interrupted line. So I can pass over to this character without a problem. You can pass through your own players, you know, just like you would. You'd pass mm -hmm. around them. That doesn't work for the other players. You, you actually have to have a line of sight. So. so now I'm going to move. And moving, I just put another uh, juice here on the green. When you move, you get to move all of your players one space. So I'm going to go one, one, and one. All right, and I'm going to move again. Now you notice that I have a blue and green here. You can kind of see that. If I just stopped my turn right now, I would be able to rest and I would recover some juice and I would take one of these timers. However, I don't want to start stop my turn here. I want to do some more things. So I'm going to use another juice to move again. Now I'm going to move into your space. Ugh. Normally you, you cannot do that, but the pain has a special ability once per turn. I can move onto an opponent's space and then move them one space. So I'm gonna muscle you out. We're gonna switch spaces here. And so I'd love to try and steal the ball, but I'm not the active player, so I can't. That's correct. Which is a bummer. So you I can just try have to block the ball, though. I can, but only when you try and make a shot. All right, well, I think I'm going to try to make if a shot. you try and dunk, Maybe I can do not. nothing. I'm gonna move again to try to get into a better position. Move, move, move. He's using up all his juice, though. I'm using up a lot of juice, and I am now going to end Wait, my turn. did you move me? Yeah, that was my that was Oh, what that I was said. your special ability. special ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm going to end my turn. Um, Wheels, at the end of my turn, gets to move one space for free. Now, you'll notice these numbers on the hexes. That is dictating how difficult it is to shoot the ball. The closer you are to the goal, the easier it is to get a shot. The farther away, obviously, is worth more points. You have your three throws, three-point shots and two-point shots. Um, so we'll see how that goes here in a second. Sorry, my board is kind of covered, so I wanted to push it over oh, a little. Okay. So I'm going to rest. So what happened, or I'm going to be done. When we're done, all of our juice slides down, both players. So if Kira had spent any, like playing reactions, she'd get that back as well. So my two yellows are going to slide down here to the yellow category. My blue and green are going to slide down. I did not rest, so I don't get any back. And I did not score, so I don't get any back. Now we pick up all the cards that we had played, and we put them back in our hand. We both start over with eight new cards. Or six, eight. We start with all eight cards. That's right. Okay, I become the active player, and right? And you become the active player. Okay. And you have the tiebreaker still. Sweet. All right, well, he's made some moves here, so I got to get in position. I did make some um, moves. Hmm, hmm, hmm. All right, so first things first, I'm going to move. Bink. Just one? And then I'm going to move again. Bink. Now... Any space adjacent. I'm going to attempt a steal. That means I have to spend two juice. Mm -hmm. One, two. It's my small player, so I'm good on having to spend more juice. So what you'll see here on these cards is depending on the size of the player, there's a little spot here. The middle spot is filled, which means if I was using my medium-sized player, I'd have to spend an additional juice to get uh, this card off. Uh, so, But it's my small player and so in addition to that i get to get an extra die which you can see sort of right there okay now to answer some questions in the chat dean i have no idea how many ballers will be in the final um that we have nine right now that we were given for our version of the game i don't know if that's going to be all of it all right so you're going to steal so i could just let you have the ball but i don't want to 12 in the final version now i'm going to uh i'm actually going to react to that so Reaction, you can do two things when you react. First of all, you can move every one of your players one space, um, except so he's going to be still being stolen from. You still have to use a juice to move, though. Yeah, I can spend that. And then I'm going to play crossover, which is used as a reaction to a steal. It has to be my ball uh, holder that uses crossover, so you see that ball icon. So it's going to be based on my character there. So he's not big, so he doesn't have any extra juice I have to spend so I just spend one but he's not small either so he doesn't get an extra die so I'm going to actually boost that with one die so that I can roll four dice in this and are we doing speed roll here sure I need three hands Got one hand uh, got it Aww. all right so my crossover one I move an opponent one space and I'm going to move you one space away from me and that ends the turn 
Yes, and that means that he becomes the active player. All yep. of our juice moves down. Yep. Except I'm running out of juice here. He is. And then these cards come back at the end of the turn. All right. Do I want to go for the easy shot or do I want to actually... So I'm going to pass. Because you're... You can come He's in and try to block. He's going to pass the ball. He's going to pass the ball. So I'm spending one one of under the blue to pass the ball from here to there. So I'm going to let Wheels come in with the ball. And the question is, Wheels is small. If I try to dunk with Wheels, it costs an extra energy, and I don't like that. I'm just going to try to shoot. So I'm going to spend one juice to shoot. It doesn't cost any extra juice. She's small. There's no bonus die. So I would just get three of these dice. Now Kira has to decide if she wants to try to block that shot or not. All right. And I could get in position to block, right? You could. You're, Let's yeah. see here. So any adjacent space. So I'll use a juice to move. Yep. And I'm going to move her in, her in, and her in. Yep. And then, and then block is going to cost two. It's my last two. And I'm using... Using your big guy. So I get an extra die. So you'll actually get four die. Okay. And I get three. All so right. two hands and a foot. I need two hands and a ball. Got, Got it. Got it. Ooh. Ooh. And I have the tiebreaker. You tie have the tiebreaker. So you break the tie. So that means, however, I take the tiebreaker over to me. Um, so you now have the ball. That ends the turn. A block does end the turn. That's mm -hmm. correct. So we pick up all of our things. Now, I did not cross this yellow line. I only have a blue and a green. So I get to rest. I rested my, my baller. So these come down like normal. And then I get to move four over from my green or yellow pool into my available pool because I was the active player. Yep. Now, if this is on somebody else's turn, it doesn't matter. Um, it's only when you are the active player and do that. But I have to take one of these timer tokens and we're going to click down... Uh, so yeah, I don't get game. to rest until it's my turn. Right. And I only have your turn right now. one juice. So you're going to rest. So I'm going to rest, but I'm going to first move because why not? Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm going to move. So we're going to move her, her, and her that okay, way. Well done. Okay, then I will rest and I will take four juice back. All right. All right. And take one of the timers. Just making sure I don't forget yeah. anything. All right, so timer, this is, in case you guys can't see it, this is a little doodad that is our kind of way of making, it's like our timeouts. All right, well, All right. I'm gonna have to try to steal that ball back. So I'm gonna definitely move. I'm gonna move into adjacent space, move over here. So does that right make here. you the active player? Oh, it does, because you just ended your turn, didn't you? Active player, and I have the tiebreaker. All right, I am going to do my own attempt to steal here. So. Stealing is going to cost me two juice. And then one, I have to two. use... I'm going to boost it with one. And I'm stealing with my uh, biggest person, which does not cost any juice and also does not give me any bonus. However, I did boost it. So I'm going to get to roll four dice for that attempt. All right. So I'm doing that. It's not my small person. I have to spend an extra because it's my Big tall person. person. Yep. And I'm going to also boost it to get an extra die. All right. Three hands. I need two boots and a hand. The two shoes. No. Got it. Ah. It's close. All right. So I steal. So steal attempt. So I get to steal from. Well, it's just the one player. Mm -hmm. Steal attempt from any space, and this is going to stay down here. So we can't. I can't steal again. Um, Oh, yeah. Well, it ended the turn, though. I can't pass, unfortunately. Oh, if I had won. If you had won, it would have. Yeah. Um, there's little symbols on each one of these cards that says, if you succeed, does the turn end or not? If Kira had still, uh, blocked my steal attempt, it would have actually ended the turn. Um, but it didn't in that instance. All right. So I'm going to... I guess I'm going to move in again. Move here. Here. And here. Uh, I'm going to... I can't dunk. I guess I could. All right, I'm going to move one more space. Or do I want to just shoot it? I'm just going to try to shoot. So I'm just shooting. So I spent my one energy to shoot. Okay. 
Are you going to try to block it? Am I close enough to block? I am. You can with this guy. Or you can move her into position. I could. So, yeah, because she you will be... You always get to move if you're going to play a reaction A better card. block. Yep. Uh, so I'll move. 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 Are you getting into position? I am. Uh, and then I will have to roll. So it's my block, so it's my bigger person. Yeah, I had so to you use... you get an extra die, don't you? Two juice. I get an extra die. I don't get anything, and I'm not... I only have one energy left. I don't want to boost it. Uh, maybe I do. I do want to boost it. All right, you ready? Got it. Oh, dang. All right. Mm, ends blocked. the turn. So you get to basically block. Okay, so anytime a shot is blocked, so basically the shot goes up, it's blocked. We're going to pause the game immediately, and we're both going to play rebound cards to see who rebounds the ball. So... Three dice, plus one if it's your biggest. It is my biggest. Mine too. All right. Mm. Got it. <laughs> I was I grabbed the wrong thing because I was still on hands. So your baller closest to the goal gets the ball and then moves one space. And okay. I'm going to move up to here. Now, however, no, this rebound actually ends the turn no matter who wins it. Thank so God. turn is over. All these <laughs> cards come back up. All of my juice goes down. Now, this is the first, I have one juice left. Um, I moved juice down into the red zone. This is the first time that's happened. Anytime you move down into the red zone, you get a goat card. Ditto. Oh, you spent red as well. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Then. I'm not going to tell you what my goat card does, but I will show you. All right. I didn't score. I didn't rest, obviously. This is mine, since Ryan's I'm not gonna being look. stingy. I'm not going to look and see. That's a goat card, and you can see it has icons at the yeah. top. All right. Do you want me to show yours and not you can look mine. at it? All right, look. I'll do this best I can. Am I in position? You can, mine has a pretty cool ability. I actually like this one. These goat cards are one-time use, though. They do not come back to your hand after you play them. All right, it's good. It doesn't really make a difference if you see it or not. Well, you can open your eyes, Kira. <laughs> but it does go into your hand for now. So... Uh, that's it for me. So, so you are now the active back. player. We get all of our cards back. But you and I both only have one juice to spend. <laughs> all right. I am going to go ahead and take that opportunity to move. Oh, I, at the end of my turn, I should have moved her one space. Yep. So I'm going to go it. ahead and move in here, in here, and over here. Oh, you're getting uh, ready for a... Then I'm going to rest. Boop. All right. Take another timer. Timer. Are you doing... Well, I guess you didn't do anything. I haven't done anything. Um, all right. So, ooh, that's such a good card. Let's see. I should go ahead and... Are you done? You arrested, right? I rested. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to take the active player. I am going to... All I'm going to do... I don't want to spend... I only have one juice to spend. So, I'm just going to try to dunk. It would cost extra juice if I was my smallest... If I was a small player. I'm not. I'm a big player, which actually gives me one extra die. So I'm going to roll three dice for this dunk attempt. And there's nothing I can do against a dunk. Other than block. Block is only for a shoot attempt. Block shoot. Um, it still counts as a shoot. I mean, they say in the rules you can block a dunk, so... Oh, I was going off the keyword. Yeah, I know. All right, I will... Oof. Sure. All it's right. It's going to cost me... Two energy? Two energy. Two juice, but two you'll juice. get one... As well, right? Not get an extra die. You're right. It is it is weird, but that's the only way you no, can... No, that's all right. So I just want to make sure I wasn't blocks. cheating. Ceiling looks fine, Dean. Yeah. All right. Hand. Oh, I got them all. I got two. And you have all the tiebreaker. Right, I have tiebreaker. a tiebreaker. So I, I am now. going to dunk. Give me that tiebreaker. But you take the tiebreaker. So I dunk, which is going to give me two points. And then... All right. So I scored. Um, so... That ends the turn, that though. Ends, that ends the turn completely. But we're going to reset the board. So you're going to reset on your side of the board, and I reset on my side of the board. Thank you. So let's put my guys like this. Mm, I'm going to stay with what I had before. All right. Who's going to take the ball? Uh... We don't do a rebound again? Or nope. the rebound thing again? Not uh, for scoring. You just take the ball. Her. All right, so that is the end of my turn. 
um, because that dunk ended it. So I picked up my cards. I'm going to move down my juice, which means I rest. So I take another one of these stopwatches I and I get to move. Oh, I scored. So I move one over mm -hmm. uh, and I move two over here because I scored, but then I rest. So I'm going to move oh, four no, over Oh no, I leave here. that there because I didn't score. So okay. I've got some juice back. So That's who's good. the active player then? Now you will now okay. become the active player. I just wanted to finish all this stuff before I pass the ball back to you. All right. I am going to go ahead and move. Yeah. You're going to want to move. Oh, man. And then I'm going to rest. Oh, all right. I need more juice. Unfortunately, I'm not super close to you to come in and steal... You remember, you can move. I'm gonna have one. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have to because I'm not in range of you. So I'm gonna move uh, right here with pain. I'm gonna move here, and let's go here. All right, I'm gonna move again. I'm gonna take advantage of uh, surpass a lot's ability. He can move um, through an opponent. So do you need to do that right now? Oh, okay, I one, see. One. I'm gonna move. Use her ability to block someone out and move them, and then I'm gonna move wheels there. Wait, how did you? Whenever I move into someone else's space, I get to move them one space. Ah, uh, okay. All right, and now let's try that steal. Unfortunately, a steal's gonna cost me two. Um, I don't have my small, and I'm gonna boost it. I don't have my um, small player over there, so. I only get three as well. And I'm going to boost it though, so I can have a fourth die. All right, yeah, I'm also going to, I also did, so. Uh, I got the hand. Two boots, got it. Okay. All right, so steal. Um, so I'll take the ball into my place. Oh, I have one juice left. You know what? Steal does not end the turn for me, so I'm going to move with it. I'm going to move here, move here, move here. Unfortunately... That's all I can do. So I'm going to be done with my turn. I pick our cards back up. I get my one juice available. But I do get another goat card because I moved down into the red. That might not be the best. Oh. Nice. All right. Now you are the active player. I am. All right. I'm going to move here. Here. Oh. Here. Then I'm going to steal. Ooh, I should have taken that back. Oop. I'm going to steal. This is my medium player, so it's going to cost me an extra juice. I cannot actually even stop that um, because my crossover costs one juice. Oh, no, it's my small player. Plus one if I have my large player with the ball. My large player does have the ball, so this will cost me two. I only have one, so I can't even stop that. So there's no need for a roll off oh, because I can't roll any dice. Okay. So, so I you're steal gonna do that. Take the ball and move and one space. And she ha can pass immediately after a yep. successful steal. So I'm going to pass to her. Oh, uh, this is not good for me. Um, so then, that's done. I'm going to, how far am I away? One, two. I can dunk with uh, Dina. Yep, being two spaces away. I can away. attempt to dunk two spaces away for an extra juice. Now, dunk costs me one juice. Yep. It's my large player, so I'm going to get an extra die, but I have to spend extra juice for her ability. Yeah. And I just get it, right? Yeah, because there's no... I, I'm not playing a card to block it. I Well, can well I, then I don't, I don't need... think I can get in... No. I can't get in there. All right, so I get two points. Yep, so you get two points as well. And we're going to reset. I score, so I can move this over. I move one of these over. And you become the active player. I take these back. And, and their juice comes down. Mine, I didn't spend any. Plus a goat. Do I also get a goat this. card for scoring? No, only, no, only that's when you move down. I gotcha, there, I gotcha, yeah. I gotcha. All right. So, reset, reset, reset. Yep. Yeah, sure, whatever. That works. I got my guys where I want them. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm going to take a great turn as the active player here. I've got one juice left, so I'm going to use it to move. One space, one space, one space. And I'm going to immediately end my turn. So I will get this one back. I will get four of these back. Uh, wheels will get to move one extra space. 
that's the uh, uh, their ability and I will have to take one of these timer tokens so we're getting close to the end of the game here and that's all I can do okay I needed that rest you've got four left so right I'm gonna move Yep. Uh, Dean is asking how long a game normally lasts. Well, I mean, it depends. You can, if you have players that are resting a lot, um, like you should, because you really need to get this juice back, the game is probably going to, I don't know, I would say no more than an hour, but probably less. Are you done? Yep. I'm All guessing right. this is a 30 minute game once you get into it and you're not explaining everything on camera. Correct. Yep. I'm going to pass. I can, there's no, yep. it's an, uninter an uninterrupted line, and then I'm going to move. So Wheels is going to move, you're going to move, going to move. And then I'm going to get in my turn, Wheels gets a free movement at the end of the turn. So there's that. I get these back, and I get some juice back. This red one is stuck up here until I finally score, which hasn't happened yet. <laughs> or I mean, since I, since I moved it down there. Okay. Um, well, move. I'm going to... Mm. Mm, she was here. Yep. We'll move here. Move here. Move here. Yep. Uh, do it again. Yep. And what do you got? No, here. Yep. Here. Uh, here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to steal. Figured you were. This is my medium player. So it's going to cost me an extra juice in addition to the two. And then that's it. Okay, I'm just going to let you steal it, actually. Okay. Because you spent all that juice. I'm not going to stop you. Steal continues your turn, though. It does. Um, and it's not her, so I don't get to immediately right. pass. So instead... Hmm... Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and I can't pass anymore because I'm already here, right? I had to do that first. Correct. So I will just move here, here, whoops, and here, and then, oops, wrong one, move. One more time. Uh, actually, yeah, well, move, 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 and then I can attempt to shoot from here. Yeah, except you have no more, you can't spend any more energy. Oh, Your you're right, I can't, out. I have to stop. Boo, hiss, all right. Yeah, but you will get a goat card once you move all your stuff down. Give me that goat. All right, I'm going to move to here, to here, to here. And I'm going to steal. Steal is going to cost me two juice. And I have my small player, so I'm going to get to roll four dice on the steal attempt. Uh, it's my medium yep, player, medium so I just get nothing. three so I can boost it. Are you boosting it? So yep. we're both rolling four? And boot, give me a boot. You got, got it. it. All right, so I've stolen the ball. And this lets me continue my turn. So let's go one more move. I'm going to move again. I'm going to use her once per turn ability to, to block you out. I'm going to move again. Unfortunately, I'm not within any kind of um, dunk range, but I will shoot. That's going to cost me one energy. And you'll be successful because I well, can't do anything. This is our first actual shoot attempt that wasn't a dunk. So first of all, you need to double check and make sure the shoot wasn't blocked. So I would take my set of dice and I would get three and I don't get any other bonus. So I would have three dice. But However, Kira cannot block me because she can't get her people in position so she can't play that reaction card you so still have to roll i don't have to roll to complete the shoot card but i do have to roll to see if i can hit this number i need to roll two 
uh, basketballs. basically basketballs on this to get a shot here. And I can't boost it because I have no more juice to spend. So I have to just hope I roll two baskets, two basketballs and three dice. And oh I did. Oh my gosh. So he gets a point. This is actually from the, a black space. So it's a three point shot. Oh, it is. Yep. So I'm going to go up to five. All right. That's a score. We don't need a rebound. Scoring ends my turn. Um, so this is all going to come down anyway. But I did score, so I'm going to get to move two of these over and one of these over. And I get to draw a goat card. Nice. All right. And then we're going to reset our boards. It was a good three-point shot from Wheels. All right. I'm an active player, but I'm just going to rest. So if you want to... Yeah, you are the active player, but you still have to reset where you want your guys to go. Oh, your... right, right, right. I guess I can move once. And who has the ball? Um, her. Yeah. Uh, so I can move once before I rest. Mm -hmm. So I'll do that. All right. And then I'll rest and take my four. And take one of the tokens. All right. What do I want to do here? What do I want? I don't have a lot of juice left. Let's just move. One, two, actually one, two, three. And I'll stop that as well. So I'll move one down, I'll get four back so I can be prepared for the next round and I'll take another one. Only two of these timer tokens left. All right, so. We're nearing the end game. I'm going to first. Move through an opponent's player for oh, one juice. Ho, ho. So I'm gonna move. I didn't see that coming. Yep. Through. Uh, you spent your juice for that. I did right here. See. Nice. Well done. Um, and then. And seems then like it makes sense just to keep moving. Move. Yep. And I only have to get one ball to shoot from there. So I could also move these guys, but they're kind of in a way. But keep in mind that I can still block you, though. I can. I get to move as part of. I can spend a move as part of a reaction. You can. Yeah. So I'll move one more time. To be right here. Yeah. Now I can't get to you no matter then what. Then I will. Question is, do I dunk with her or do I shoot with her? What? Well, hmm. That's a good question. Dunk is a guaranteed. You don't need to roll the die to make sure you shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna it does do cost more. Dunk. She's my. Because she's your tiny Small one, player, so, so she'll cost, cost me two. two. energy. Two juice. Two juice. Duck, score two points. Two points. Bing, bing. So you're at four? Yep. And then reset. And you scored, I so you scored, get one of so those back. Or two, two of those move, back and one, one of the yellows. Go. Yep. That's it. Okay. So you scored. So we're going to reset. I'm going to do this situation here. All right. You're active player. And I'm now the active player. Let's see what I can make happen here. I'm going to do a move. So we're going to move, move, move. I'm going to move again. Make use of her once per turn ability to push you out of that space. Make use of his once per turn ability to move through somebody. I'm just going to move her there. I'm going to move again. Here. Here. Oh, that's you. And there. I'm going to move again. Oh, that's, you're just going to be able to be, oh, I'll block you here, there, and there. And then I will try to dunk. Um, this is my, this is my medium guy, so I don't have to spend any more. So I will dunk for one and nobody's there to block him. Um, so I will dunk. So I just did a mad drive. That's why you got to like save up all your juice so that you can start with a ton of juice and just make a break for the for the dunk. So dunk is just going to score me two points. And that's seven. That ends the game. Oh, seven ends the game for three? For, I thought it was ten. It's ten. It's seven. I'm oh, certain it's ten that it's... ten for a long game? Yeah. Well, there's seven and ten. You can win... I think you can end the game at seven or ten. It's seven. And that's fine. So... Yeah. Ryan wins. That was my drive and my dunk. Nice um, job. And spend for that. 
I gotta say, I really like this guy's ability that lets me um, move through opponent's spaces is is huge. You were pretty close to seven as well. You yeah, it was a, a, it was a tight shot. game. It was a really tight game, actually. Um, I'm sorry, everyone that's cheering Team Kira in the comments it's right okay. now. It's okay. I lot appreciate it, though. I didn't get to use my GOAT cards. I got two of the same one. They were let me move an opponent one space. So I guess I could have done that instead of um, moving through you. So the key of this game that maybe is not super obvious at the very beginning um, is definitely obviously when to rest and when to get your juice back. Because if I had ended that um, with no juice, I would not have been able to do that run. Like I spent all of my juice on movement just to kind of push through. I really like the pain and their <laughs> ability to move players. Like that's pretty good. You can only do it once per turn though. So you can't just like bump somebody all the way back. I liked my combination of, of ballers. Who did we not use? Did you use all your special abilities? I didn't use hers. Oh, oh, she lets you succeed with one less ball. Yeah. Oh, I, you don't only need, you can shoot here for free basically. Yeah. She doesn't ever need to. I just didn't ever get her into position to use her ability. And these were more beneficial against you. Oh yeah, that, that dunk from two spaces away was great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, it was my first time actually getting it to work, though. This, so, this character good. shutdown makes everyone pay an additional juice when shooting or dunking at an adjacent space. Uh, this guy handles if you cross over, which we didn't do ever. But we have a card called crossover, which we could have played for one juice to just move an opponent. You can block it, but it just moves an opponent. Um, but that lets you move an opponent two spaces, which is great. And then black hole... Automatically gets one more die for rebounds and blocks. And Black Hole is a, they're a big character, so they would already get one extra die for blocks. So basically, you're rolling five dice for every block attempt. No wow. wonder they call him Black Hole. That makes sense. Yeah. That's crazy. All right. So uh, tell yeah. us who your favorite characters were in the comments and then uh, below uh, the video if you're watching this yeah. on the replay. Be sure to check out the Kickstarter and uh, see all the other characters I think I saw in the comments that we were going to see a total of 12 in this game, yeah, which is 12, pretty awesome. 12 different ballers, char baller characters. I'm interested to see what the other ones are going to look like. I liked, for me, it's the pain. I mean, that was hands down the one that really like oh, won that game for me. I like Being Dina and Dunk City. She was awesome. That's pretty cool. This lady right here. Yeah. That's funny. We both like our two, like we got the two, the two ones, large yeah. characters. Super fun. All right, guys. Well, tune in tomorrow for our next live stream with Oh, yeah, that's right. Holy. And then, of course, Holy. we've got, we'll, we'll be posting. So if you aren't in our Discord yet, check out the link in our description for that. And please go there to join. We've got a channel where we're always posting whatever new mm -hmm. links we're doing live on in there. So we have feeling we'll probably have a few pop-up things this week as well so yeah. stay tuned for that and we will see you guys tomorrow bye everybody